Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Play Paintball. I'm doing my self-playing critique here on the MVPS Winter Classic. This is going to be the one that is for the Combine. And I'm sorry that, sorry that this is going out actually on Friday because I completely didn't even... I was going to release it on Monday then I was like, wait, no, everyone's playing at the Combine on Saturday and Sunday for the MVPS. So uh, I wanted to get this out. I do have a new microphone, so hopefully it sounds better. Uh, I'm hoping that it does. Uh, so yeah, I... I uh, want to say thank you to the MVPS. Um, they're a great, great league, uh, and they supported me last season. I think we're going to try to do something again this season. So uh, I guess without further ado, we'll just jump right into this first point. And uh, yeah, I, again, I'm going to be showing you the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, all of that. So let's uh, let's just jump right into this first point. So this one I was definitely playing more of just a, a front Dorito. I just wanted to go go deep, I guess. Uh, dove into this first Dorito here. Now with this Dorito side, I, I really feel like a lot of the wins are going to be coming from this Dorito side. And you need to play aggressive. This is something that I, I was playing hesitant today for some reason. Uh, really not sure. Uh, not sure why. Because uh, there's really no reason to. Now getting my gun up was good. That All of that. Um, and uh, yeah, I just ended up getting shot stupid is really all that it was. So make sure that you're checking off those insides. I think I tried to move when I saw someone up the center, but uh, that's just my own stupidity, I guess. <laughs> all right, so this one went to the Dorito again. Uh, I guess I wanted to redeem myself here. Uh, just getting my gun up right away. Um, I think I did actually shoot someone uh, and there's so much stuff on on this tape line that I wasn't able to see that so you want to make sure that on this field layout I mean really every field layout but especially this one because there's so much stuff on the Dorito side if you're on the snake side you need to make sure that you're communicating with your players of who's walking off uh, because then that way you'll you'll know if you can move or not now I definitely did play this side a little bit more hesitant than I should have that would have been uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the the best. So uh, I'm just I communicating, uh, talking to. Uh, you heard me say, Josh. Hey, you, you, this is the kind of stuff that you want to do. Uh, make sure that you're implementing so that that way, when you are going into uh, the tournament, that your communication is on point. Hey, Josh, so, uh, Josh, can you see this way or no? Yeah, just talking, and if you can use someone's voice, it helps a lot with the communication. So that that way, you're making sure that everything is. Uh, Right, right how it should be, honestly. Hey, is, um, hey, is that snake dead? So I'm just trying to confirm here, because uh, there's no hey, point in me shooting me. somewhere if uh, someone is uh, is shot or hey, not. So, uh, so just kind of kind of moving around over here. Now, like I said, I was playing a little bit hesitant uh, on this part of the day. I'm not really sure why. Um, it really wasn't wasn't the best thing to do and actually you'll hear one of my old coaches uh, Ken from the Palm Beach Vipers he probably hates that I said his name but uh, he was like Greg why are you holding up the game and uh, he's right I should have made uh, a move earlier I mean I could have in all this time right now I could have gone up into that wing or going into uh, the 50 Dorito um, so just playing playing hesitant on this Dorito side is going to cost you the game. That's going to be something that is going to hurt you overall if you're not really trying to push. Because if you can have a lot more of that Dorito side presence, because there's so many bunkers there, you can kind of get lost. And that's going to help you with lost. making sure that you are uh, just kind of keeping the, the pedal on the gas, essentially. Hey, snake one, beast. So uh, you can see here, basically, I uh, shot on the inside, got up to the swing, which I should have done way before, uh, came out over to here and saw my chance to go, bunkered him, shot the other guy, and then I'm not sure if I ended up shooting the snake or not, but um, I think I did shoot one of the guys earlier by shooting down that tape. If you can get up quick on that tape side and shoot, then uh, it's going to help you with those uh, maybe overslide shots, basically. So one thing that you want to make sure is going into this tower, you want to try to stay low when you get in. Um, actually, uh, Mitch, who's over there who does uh, polar media, uh, he actually has a picture of me going into this bunker. It was on this point, sliding underneath the lane. You want to make sure that you stay low because there's only so low of a shot that they can get. So you're going to be able to uh, take advantage of that. Uh, and basically all I was doing was just keeping pressure. Uh, that, that 40 or that other... Uh, the wing uh, let me get up there. I tried to bounce it off that Dorito. I don't think that bounce shot works. I have tried it before and it didn't seem like it was doing anything beneficial. Now his knee was showing and that's what I was able to shoot. Uh, 
so shoot all around uh there's gonna be refs at the mvps so that's gonna help and i was just trying to push and ended up being able to trade so uh i was able to do my job i was able to go out and kind of cause havoc and yeah uh so on this side so to my snake players that watch uh i was actually able to play a little bit more of the snake side um with this field i, I mean Something, sometimes, like, uh, this is some uh, uh, lower divisional players here uh, from uh, Team Biohazard, uh, which is a local team to me, actually, in Winter Haven. But they, um, in the Division 5 and all of that, a lot of times, just roll your gun. Some of these guys are going to stay in their bunker, or they're going to come out and battle you stupid, and you can take advantage of that. So you want to just make sure that you're sitting there laning uh, and doing what you can. Now, when I got out to the tape here, uh, you can see that tower. Um, I ended up missing the shot. Uh, so I, I don't know if maybe I bounced him, but I'm just going to say I missed because if I bounced him, then I missed. He's not out. So that's not uh, that's not ideal. But um, if you can get out to this can, it's pretty good to watch down the tape. It's something that you're able to, um, to use to your advantage, essentially. Um, so, yeah, so that's something that, that you can use to protect your snake player, uh, as well as being able to shoot the tape and then wrap on the outside. Now, I moved back. I don't know if I was trying to just do something. It, it's not good to stay here. If there's someone in the snake, you really need to stay uh, in that, that snake corner, just because you're, you're not going to be able to protect him down the tape, and you can't stop any movement. Now, when that snake player died, I ended up diving into the snake, uh, and this is just embarrassing, honestly. I was shooting, and I should have been reloading, and I would have shot this guy in the leg, but because I only had a couple balls left you can hear my hopper spinning there um so i'm just trying to say hey he bumped he did this and uh you know so be it just trying to to stay alive trying to figure things out um he has to either come on the tape or jump over on the inside and my other players will be able to see him there so if you're trying to lock it down you can just shoot down this tape and it would be okay to do so once the snake was dead, I was able to hop over this beam and uh, and dive into the snake too. Now the reason I was able to do this is because this is one of the downsides with the snake corner is that they can't see that move if you stay low. So if you kind of jump over the beam and stay low, uh, unless someone's shooting on the inside, you should be able to move up the snake without the, uh, uh, the, the snake corner seeing you do that. Um, you might be able to catch him off guard. Like I was just kind of shooting down tape, hoping that maybe I can shoot and uh, get him over there. So... That was something that ended up not working out for this one. But uh, all I'm doing here is just trying to see what I can and can't do, essentially. Uh, I just try to book it up to uh, this tower, shot that Dorito over there. Um, if you stand up tall, you can shoot up over the wing and then able to uh, snap out this, uh, this snake corner here. Um, now, I don't know if I shot him. It might have been someone else, but uh, yeah. Alright, so the reason why I had that little skip there was basically because uh, I did get a bounce on my elbow. So if you pull up fast enough, you can kill this guy going to this Aztec, the one that I just went to. So that is something that is uh, is possible. Um, and like I said, you get down into this corner and you can really protect your, your other player. I mean, I'm just sitting there, uh, sitting there shooting. Now you're going to hear me correct myself here because <laughs> he put his gun up and I wasn't sure if he was dead or not because he wasn't walking off and then eventually he did walk off so that ended up working out fine. Now you heard me say that I used his name, uh, it's his nickname, Busy, and uh, so that way he can watch his own tape and I can look inside. So this is something that we're able to communicate and uh, ended up winning the, the game there. Now, this one, I think I ended up kind of botching the play a little bit. I think I was supposed to stay there a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, ended up working because I was able to get out here, and we scared this snake guy. He actually, the idea was to dive out wide and him come all the way up to that 50 snake tower, and uh, it would have worked, but um, I think it was the Dorito side was shooting that way and was able to um, scare him, so he had to kind of drop and then I was able to shoot him down the team. And then there wasn't anyone looking, so I was able to go all the way up into this tower here. And something that newer players need to remember hey, is, you see how I just take a knee here? I'm letting the other guys go to work. I already see my other player running up there. The other player that's in that Dorito has to worry about me, so he's gonna have to focus on me, and we can pinch him out. Remember, it's better to win than to shoot everyone. Uh, I'd rather win and not shoot a single person the whole tournament than, uh, shoot someone every single game but we lose so <clears throat> with this home bunker i wouldn't stay there too long i mean it's, it's not a bad spot but 
you uh, you can kind of tear it like you saw I was doing that earlier uh, on that yellow field and then also on this one you can kind of stand up over the top now this 50 Dorito scared me <laughs> uh, he uh, got there real quick and when I dove out uh, I was able to pull back in and uh, eventually we were able to shoot him and then uh, we were able to uh, uh, close this out so just kind of just trying to play smart basically um, once that Dorito was there I uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to contain him on that tape side uh, or actually I take that back you can kind of cross it up a little bit uh, but I do end up shooting him down the tape here because he is hanging out a little bit so you want to be careful when you're when you're actually uh, posted on someone because you don't want to give them too much. If they, if you give them too much, then they're going to be able to come out and snap you. Uh, so you want to stay super tight uh, as much as you can. Now, what I was trying to do here was in between those two cans, there's a little bit of a shot, and then uh, shooting for the uh, the snake or the snake corner you can do because that gap is so large there. Um, now, I, uh, I could have had my gun up more here. Uh, that was definitely not the, the best, but... Uh, yeah, just rolling my gun. Actually, I think I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky with this one. It doesn't hurt, and I learned this from Timmy Probst, who used to play pro with damage, if you guys don't know him. And basically, he'll just shoot a gap, and that's what I did right there. Between that, that brick and that wing, you can actually shoot that gap and stop that Dorito side moving. Now, you have to be careful about the over-the-top shots and all of that, of course, but um, I was like, all right, I'll shoot this way, and it just happened to be at the right time. So sometimes you get lucky, and uh, that happened to work for me that time. Um, what I'm doing here is just trying to close out the game. I mean, I can come up and uh, try to cut off these uh, these other players. Um, so just trying to play smart. I mean, I can duck behind that little W if I needed to, if that snake tried to pop up. Um, and uh, that Aztec tried to move out. I don't think that was the best move for him. He probably could have stayed there a little bit longer, but he was just trying to do something. And then it was just the snake at the end. And I think this one I'm actually in the snake. Uh, yeah, snake side. So, uh, like I said, gunning out to this Aztec, you have to be careful. I mean, you, like, I did get bounced. Uh, I don't think I got bounced here. But, uh, yeah, I, I, you just have to make sure that you're rolling your gun. Now, I know we didn't have a lot of paint. We actually turned this game. So, I, I usually would have been shooting more. Or I should have been shooting more. But I think I only had three pods. So, I didn't want to have, uh, you know, nothing at the end. and have to try to, like, one ball someone. So, I'm just communicating here, just trying to talk. Um, again, uh, shooting this gap again, just trying to see if maybe I can get something in there. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. They called that snake. Uh, once he was dead, I just took off and went in. And actually, the home was looking that way, but they didn't have a lane. So you want to make sure that if you're trying to fill out from that Aztec, that you're careful. Because if you go out too uh, too hard, uh, or too fast, I mean, and there's that lane there, and you're not looking, you're, you're going to die. So that's not going to be good. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, playing back and forth here and just trying to talk with my team and, and see what's going on. It, there's no point in trying to, like, just be super overly right. aggressive and stupid. Uh, even on the Dorito side, both sides are like this. You can push both sides very hard, but, and that's not a leak, that's someone filling it. Uh, but you can you can be smart about it. Now, I, I probably could have moved here. Um, I think I, I, I could have uh, done this earlier. I ended up just kind of laying down. Uh, he was shooting down the tape, uh, so I got underneath the lane and started shooting, uh, hoping that he would uh, get confused by that, basically. Um, once we knew that he was dead, now I can wrap this whole snake side. So I'm able to uh, go ahead and uh, just talk. So we're just trying to confirm here. So you can hear me. Uh, we, we got a little bit confused. It was, the, it was the little Aztec on the Dorito side that he was at. And uh, coming out here, just trying to play aggressive. Once you, you see me kind of speed up all of a sudden, the reason I did that is because I was trying to see slowly go up and shoot at him. And if he was looking at me, I can just drop and hey, the player's on me. Uh, but since he wasn't, I just took off and went up to that that uh that tower on the dorito side so uh that's something that you can use to your advantage as well but thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it good luck to those playing at the mvps winter classic and if you're at the combine uh i won't be out there uh it's actually my birthday tomorrow because i'm doing this right now on friday saturday is my birthday um and then uh sunday uh we already have plans so uh i won't be able to make it out to the the combine but uh, good luck to those that are playing, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.